Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gears Tactics. My name is Eiken and today we're going to continue our blind playthrough of Insane Difficulty. We are in Act 3 and things are um, trying to get a bit more dicey. Today it is time for Crush Tiger, which is picked randomly one of the two. I can't really see much of a difference here. Blow up the grubs, local impulsion sounds like fun. The one caveat to it this time, though, is we're going to go in with completely different skill sets, uh, short of the specialist, I should say, because that specialist is more or less a carbon copy of uh, Diaz and has a few, I think, individual healing skills, if my memory serves me well. Yeah, so the kind of core um, and power skill. But then went more into the healing route and I eventually wanted to try out healing in general <clears throat> instead of going for search. Anyways, we got uh, Widowmaker here who is a breach focused vanguard. So he's going to storm in, buy a charge and is trying to um, just rally and rouse the enemies up. And eventually will kind of stir some really nasty... Um, distraction behind enemy lines. We got Wrecker here, who is a scout based scout. So a lot of sprinting, um, eventually um, obfuscate in order to make Sergio here invisible if he goes into deep, has cloak herself and so on. We got Sergio, uh, two Sergios actually. That is funny. Okay, we got Sergio Stinger here. And Stinger is a completely reckless shot and ultra shot sort of focused build. No Overwatch skills whatsoever. And Jack is trying to kind of keep the Rectech uh, group a bit uh, together. So no clue if this is going to work out well, but I'm looking forward to it. Locusts are stockpiling emulsion nearby. If we don't trash it, who knows what they'll pull. Destroy the target and get back in one piece. All right, time to start the mission. This one is going to be a more difficult one, I assume. Mainly because I don't know how to play with the new skill sets yet. And also because uh, the gears are a bit lower in level. I think we might be missing a bit of damage because our only real damage dealer is the heavy but that just means we gotta yeah set him up for success even more okay so got that bridge epic case over here another epic case over there that looks like the target and the third epic case over there which is pretty straightforward may i say the one thing that i learned about those missions is the first point is heavily heavily defended so Let's just give everybody a couple of extra actions and start scouting. Can we? Oh, well, we can go up here. And look at that. We had a bit of a better... If we had a bit of a better grenade uh, that would almost kill all three of them it's a good start vanguard here no problem charging in if I recall correctly he had that extra wide grenade window. Well, yes, he did, but one of them, conveniently enough, got pushed back. All right, two of them down. Would have wished for a bit more. Hey. Affirmative. Good, moving up. Oh no, I saw two grenadiers back there. That's not good. Hate to use all of the grenades right away. But 
The more we can Alpha Strike, the better we, we're off. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, there we go. Uh, that Scout killed most in. of them. I think for now, anticipation for next turn oh, would be a good this. one. And let's move up here. Good. Two of those are okay. The problem is the Grenadiers are hard cut or the they are what four? Oh my gosh. They are hard countered with anything with anything that uh, can overwatch. Yep. Unfortunately, if we cannot overwatch or if we're not specialized in that, things are looking very different. Good. We're moving up. Jack is moving up as well. And is starting to give himself the sniper aura. And that also... Yep. Hits him. Great. Fantastic. Ready. Do not let up. Good. Should we uh, lock and load? I think it's not a bad idea. Four Let's of them, that's 6,000 hit points and I'm not sure if we have the damage to go uh, to chuck through all of them right away. Standing by. Start it's with the ultra shot. Keep them coming. Okay. Well done so far. We're giving ourselves a bit more heated up bonus. That's a hundred percent chance to crit. Oh, unfortunately not. Nicely done, another crit. Moves up. Kill Overwatching. Standing by. Okay, and now we gotta we gotta have a little bit of magic going for us. How would we do that? Well, for starters, move down here. Plant a grenade. Moving out. Moving back out. And then we got obfuscate. I think we still had free cloak, but Orders. that wouldn't be needed because no one is going to come up here anyways. The grenade is going to interrupt. Are we going to overwatch see the problem that i'm seeing is this guy could still 
continue to move up. No problem. So let's fall back. Yep. We're reloading, reloading because we're hidden for me. now, and that's fine. They will charge down here, Enemy and the other one might be running up. There's the interruption I was hoping for. Is the guy dead? Did we kill him? I think we did. Good. So that's important because I want to see if all of them are gone. Okay, all of them are gone. Wanted to make sure that there's definitely not one hiding behind here and we somehow couldn't spot yeah. him. That all you got? Taking position. Oh boy! The, the new uh, skills are fun to play with. Once the heavy is in position, he deals a lot of damage. That ultra shot... I'm ready for him. So penalizing. At the same time, I'm missing my overwatch. Because with overwatch it would have been trivial. We would have just duck in and let them charge into us. Easy no peasy. Not even a problem. Scout here. Good, we're moving all up. And what we're looking for is basically to get the ultra shot back. Dig in, we've got incoming. Now it's our turn. Good. If anyone is actually incoming, they shouldn't be able to take a shot right I away. Feel. But who knows? I mean, I've seen stranger Man, things. I read you. Setting up I, rem I di distinctly remember those drops of the grenadier and a couple of Bring enemies. On, Time to go. Orders. Eyes we definitely got to wait until our cooldowns are back up. Lock and load the yep. entire grenade cooldowns and so on. That's too important. <laughs> That's too important. I could do a healing aura just in case anyone has taken damage. And there we go. Watch it, here they come. We're up on Overwatch. Good, we're still looking for three more turns for Obfuscate. Definitely those builds here are cooldown hungry, for the lack of a better word. Support on standby. So we got great cooldowns, but all of them room. are like eight rounds. Yes! Well, the good news is we will get a grenade thrower out of it. Make it count. Okay. Oh, we're going to do that. We'll call. Charging over. I'm going frag. There's a nice little hit. Mm -hmm. 
be honest, I wasn't expecting them to come from this side. And we gotta be a bit careful. Uh, ultra shot's not up. Hmm. Obfuscate is also not up, but we do have uh, the small capsular. So our, our damage dealer needs hey. to get up there. Close and personal. Solid copy. Then we're going to give him extra ability points. You've got this. Should have hit him with wingman before he moved out. Still a good uh, crit chance or a good crit here. Heating up. For some more extra damage. That brings us to a thousand. If we critically hit him, he's down. It was not a crit, but it was a good hit. nicely into cover we want to make sure that we cannot be flanked and that we're really far away Drag out. good that's what I was hoping for cloaking up Jack's moving into full cover, out of line of sight. And the smoke. Makes sure that he's not uh, seen. Fantastic. I read you. Scanning now. All right, very good. I think we can just make ourselves invisible. Awaiting orders. Luisa here is invisible, and giving the scalp a boomstick will greatly enhance her use uh, usefulness because all of a sudden we do have massive massive a uh, massive massive weapon about damn time all right moving up Let's make sure we're not accidentally fumbling. Sniper aura. There we go. That improved crit chance is super helpful. Oh, come on. Down to not much. Acknowledge. Ready. Yeah. 
We move up. Partial hit. Do we have a grenade ready? No, we don't. Alright, so... Didn't connect. <sighs> Come on. Okay. Go ahead. Don't have a great grenade over there. Only the steam grenades. This is a bit of a problem. All right, we're making sure that this is going to be a 100% kill. Hey, to do it. But we can't risk anything. I was trying my best to do it prior to that in a somewhat meaningful way, but unfortunately that just come. didn't turn out to be the uh, to be possible. Now it's our turn. Drop weapon and hand it over. Wilco. Still one ammunition left in that boomstick. And our main cooldowns are yep. back as well. So next round we can finally put down the bridge. This is a much more aggressive game style and as opposed to what I'm used to. And not having a sniper on, also bro. is noticeable because there is a bit of mid-ranged action where I think this team here with the skills are falling flat. The sniper really nicely allows you to cover that mid, mid to long range. And together with the crit crit base build, the bigger single target damage enemies are not so much of a problem. Okay. Well, look at that. We now need to go over the bridge and eventually fight our way through it. Oh. Wow. Couple of ticks. Those grenadiers are a problem for us at the moment. The disciples should be fine, <clears throat> but the grenadiers so far are a bit of a problem. However, we got a boom shot, so things might change. Roger that. Specifically, if the scout has the boom shot. <laughs> oh boy. Bring them on. But these guys are too far away and I think Support all of the rest you. is also too far away. Yeah. Wilco. We're slowly but surely Standing moving by. up. Even Jack here moves up slowly. Scanning now. Okay. Bring it on, I'm ready. So the ticker will not have the range. The ber berserk or grenadier should definitely not have the range either. <sighs> And the disciples, I'm not terribly afraid of either. Well, lucky us. Let's get this One done. problem just solved itself. Oh, 
Awaiting orders. Good, moving in. Still don't have that frag grenade ready. Standing by. This, however, should do the trick. Another one down. Okay, we got cloak, so we're absolutely fine. Might as well give everybody a bit more movement, just to play with. Heavy reporting in. Moving into high ground. Taking that flank over there. And Jack moves up to our main DPS. Puts on another aura. And makes himself in uh, invisible. Okay. Eighteen percent. Well, that's not really good. Not going to put up with super low level chances to hit. Setting up a perimeter. In that case, we are just going to normally continue. Ah, no, 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 no. We're just going to normally continue to advance. Roger that. Picking that up, gaining an extra AP. Well, the nimbleness really, really, really is good. Find a grenade here, because why not? Making ourselves invisible for free. Continuing to move up. Standing by. Bring it on, Overwatch on the left hand flank. No problem. We'll nicely move up to have kind of that double overwatch squad up here. Eyes peeled. Yeah, and let's just wait until those guys start to move. Well, time to make a move. Thirteen percent. Well, that's not really good. Do we have the option to just flay a grenade over there? Yes, we do. Taking position. Sometimes. Just gotta break their uh, their cover. Hey. Set up someone else for a kill shot. That will take the support out in terms of damage because he's poisoned for now. Well, guess who just spawned right behind you? Damn right. It's a shotgun. That's one hit. Two hits. And a nice little kill. Ah, boy. I again forgot to uh, to take the last... The last crate. Well, that's one epic... Crate um, short of the maximum. But overall, it worked quite well. I mean, the new skills or the different skills can do their job. I'm not, I wouldn't say equally good, but they certainly have their advantages as well. Specifically, the ultra shot is great. 
Um, I noticed though the heavy with all of that setup has a, still a problem of hitting. So potentially you would need to like invest everything into accuracy and just additional damage on top of it. The scout. I was, uh, and then that's not not an offense against Wrecker here. I was not particularly impressed with that scout tree up there. Mm. From what I noticed, the scout either needs to deal damage via the grenades, and she's sort of doing that with the utility belt, or the scout needs to crit with a shotgun, and neither was the case. She was super nimble and could move around, collect everything. Uh, obfuscate is great, uh, specifically with, with an exposed heavy, but would I trade it for uh, for the other uh, skills? Potentially not. Let's finally take a look at what we've gotten. We got ourselves three ammunition. Oh wow, that would be great. That, on the other hand, would be epic for for individual shots. Are we going to go down the damage route with uh, Diaz? Um, I mean, it would get his damage up quite a bit. But extra ammunition. I think we're just going with extra ammo, ammunition. Diagnostics was a healing skill. That's fine, but the accuracy bonus is better. Let's not fool ourselves. Hair trigger, good. But here is that extra um, epic uh, power barrel. And now we do have almost 300 damage with 7 ammunition. I think that's the better skill set. I think that's the better skill set. It's not going to run out of ammunition anytime soon. He is hardened here with maximum health. I think we can argue to give him even more hardened 15% maximum health. That fits the character... Uh, well, because uh, he can heal, and from time to time, he already took a few shots, or he was down quite a bit. We got stabilizers here. While in cover, 10% accuracy. When unit overwatches, 50. What? What? Okay, that is something for our heavy. Critical hit resistance is great as well, but champion here, he was the one that gets all of uh, the execute, yep, yeah, the execute bonuses. Okay, wait a second. So we got untraceable here, uh, that's fine. But this here is when unit overwatches gets 50% flat up damage reduction and 10% accurate. Okay going to complain it looks a bit overpowered uh, but fine optics five percent crit chance 20 percent critical hit damage i think we're going with the critical hit damage because the sniper aura can help him if needed here double down uh, we got better boots now we got uh, the double down 7% stacks three times. That's exactly what we were looking for. Great. 40% um, damage. Yes. What was bloodlust? Oh, yeah. That's hit point regeneration, which we don't need. Uh, extra ammunition. Great. Uh, patrol. Oh, it's fantastic. And we got disrupt. Which I don't want to switch, but let's look at expertise. Unit skill cooldowns are reduced by two. Yeah, but disrupt is better. I mean, look, no offense, it's great for uh, for a shooting heavy. It's actually quite good for shooting heavy, but disrupt is just hands down the best um, for that Overwatch build. The interruption is super, super strong. Enemies are losing their actions. It's just too good to not take it. Sid Redburn. 
got a hardened helmet, 10% extra health. I think that's uh, still okay. We got himself the critical hit resistance. Uh, that's great. 75% uh, damage reduction against overwatch shots is good as well. Um, I think the crit resistance is better. Movement range and evasion is good. 10% evasion. Well, he already has 10% evasion. 30 health and 15% damage reduction. I think that's the winner here. A little bit less movement. But we're essentially stacking uh, damage reduction. Air trigger, yes. Flatliner, great. 75% crit damage is good, specifically with the flatliner that we do have, Anticipation. This unit gets 10% damage reduction. Okay, the game is tempting me to do that. He's just going to be the tank for now. Disrupt is good. Swift is also nice. Uh, I can see the build Swift uh, into extra crit damage that I had before. But this here is a solid, just all around good damage build. We're anyways going to have a good crit, uh, a crit chance and disrupt, like I mentioned. In my perspective, it's potentially the best skill on the weapons. Because you're overwatching a lot and yeah. It's just so good. Optics, oh, that's fine. All out. Uh, that's good for her as well. I like it. Uh, that's more damage. And magazine extension. Yeah, we're not going to switch that ever, ever, ever. Uh, we got 40% crit damage. Patrol. Overwatch shots. Unit will automatically reload uh, du uh, during Overwatch. That's good as well. Accuracy bonus. That's good as well. And here we got high ground. When this unit shoots from above its target. Are you... Are you real? 40% crit chance, which would... Hmm. That would... That would make it 100% uh, crit. But we would go down and damage a bit. Let's see. Ah, the accuracy is good. I mean, we could trade that minus crit chance, and then we're essentially having a high ground, so it's still it's still maximum crit chance. And a bit more damage, plus 26, but we have lower accuracy. <clears throat> this here is good. I am tempted, very tempted to go for that maximum crit chance build. But on the other hand, if you can't hit, then things are not going to uh, fall down. And having that accuracy bonus really, really, really helped us. So I think for now, we're just going to stick with the setup, although there is a valid other alternative available. Yeah, Grenadier is too good. It sucks having a legendary armor and having no one that would be able to wear it. Mainly because he already has champion. That is good as well. Twenty percent evasion makes him really hard to hit. And I think the uh, kind of glory build that we do have with him, uh, that makes sense. We already got a great armor here. She has a better armor with All Out. Untraceable is good for her. Arguably, you could kind of switch both to make her a bit more tanky. But then again, she's supposed to deal damage. So we're going to leave it as is. And that's really it for now.
Um, let's do a little sneak peek for the next time. Hot zone it is. That's the real... That's the real mission that we need to uh, now go into. The other ones were optional preparation missions. But yeah, Hot Zone is the next mission that is going to come. Thank you for watching, guys. This is it for today. Uh, if you enjoy the content of Gears Tactics, feel free to leave a comment and a like down below. That would mean a lot for me and help the channel as well. Thank you and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.